Hi there everyone, this is Melissa from DJ Event Planner and today we're going to take a quick tour of the client portal. We're often asked by our DJEP users how they can access what their client portals look like. This video will show you how easy it is for you to set up what features you would like to see in your client portals, how to access a client portal, and a brief walkthrough of how it's used. First, let me show you where you can set up your client portals. Go to Website Tools, Client Portal. First, click on the Appearance button. This is the area where you will set your theme for your client portal. You can name the theme using whatever description you like. This is helpful if you use custom themes based on event types. You can also add a company logo here. This would be used if you want to show a different logo than what you have set up as your default logo under Styling Options. Next, you can choose a default theme that is built into the software, or you can use your own custom CSS to add your own look to the portal. There are other options for changing your background color and adding a background image here. The welcome text area is the greeting that your clients see upon signing into their portal. This is where you can add your own wording or links to images, web links, etc. Along the top of the appearance page, you will see options for custom themes. You would use these options if you want to use a different portal theme for specific event types. Choose which event type you'd like, and this new custom theme will override the default option for all events with that event type. Always make sure to save any changes that you make. Next, for the client portal setup, click on the Settings button. Under General Settings is where you can determine when your clients have access to their events based on event status. Your clients will not have access until you send them their login credentials, and frequently DJEP users send that information to their clients after their event has been booked, so those users check any event status that they consider a booked status. However, you determine your workflow and at what point you want them to have access and set it accordingly. If autosave is enabled, then when your clients work on their planning forms, any changes are saved automatically every 60 seconds. This avoids any loss of information longer than 60 seconds if your clients have logged off suddenly. You can choose what your clients see when they first log on. The default home page would show the welcome message that I mentioned when setting up the appearance page. Planning tools would take them directly to the Plan My Event page. You can also determine how many days before their event that you want them to be locked out from making any further changes to their planning forms. If you scroll down to the Features section, this is where you can toggle on or off what features you would like to be shown in the client portal. One simple example for how to use this is if you're a photo booth business and don't plan to use the Music Request System, you can toggle off Music Request System and the Guest Request System options here under Planning Tools. Then your clients will not see any type of Music Request options in their portal. Also, in the Features section, you can set a booking helper to run once your clients have clicked on the Planning Complete button in their portal. There are options for changing wording within the portal, and you can also set who will receive email notifications after your client has done certain actions, such as signing into their portal, updating their planning, or when they have completed their planning. You can also set custom redirects for their log on and log off page. And again, always make sure to save any changes when you're finished. Next, let me show you how to access your client's portals to see exactly what they will see when they sign in. Navigate to your event list and choose one of your events in your account. Click on the Planning tab all the way to the right or find the Planning tab in whatever view you are using for your event details page. Under Client Portal Login Details, click on the blue Log On As button. This will open a new window in your browser. This particular event is for a wedding, so you can see this uses the custom theme we have set up just for wedding events. This landing page is their welcome page, and this section at the top is where you will see any welcome text you have added within your website tools. 
This next section shows the details of their upcoming event. And you will also see three options. Plan my event, event details, and make a payment. At the bottom, you will see a list of the latest emails you've sent to the client and a list of any meetings scheduled with this client. Next, click on the Event Details button. This area gives your clients a summary of details such as service details, venue, financial information, payment history, and more. At the bottom will be any client visible documents you have in their event, such as their e-signed contract. Back on the Home tab, click on the Make a Payment button. You will see that this will take them to your payment page so they can easily make their next expected payment. Next, click on the Plan My Event button. This page is the section where they can work on their planning forms and choose their music requests and special songs. If you click on the Guest Request button, this is where your client can get the information to share with their guests to make requests as well. Further down on the page is where your clients can edit and view their planning forms and timeline that you've added to their event. Once they have finished all of their planning, they can click on the Submit and Finalize Planning Forms button. Other tabs on the Client Portal page include the My Event tab, which shows your client any events they have booked with you. The My Profile tab includes their contact information. And the Contact tab includes your business contact information and a contact form where they can send a message to your inbox. This page will also show any email history you sent to your client. The majority of these client portal options you see here all stem from the choices you made in Setup under Website Tools, Client Portal. If you see an option in the client portal that you do not want available to your clients, then you would go back into those settings and uncheck that feature option. You can also make some of these changes on a per event basis. While in the Event Details page, go to the Planning tab, then click on the Edit button in the upper right corner of the page. Under Event Permissions settings, you have the choice to toggle on or off the client's ability to edit and or view these specific features. Planning Forms, Timeline, Song Request System, Payments and Fees, Add-on Fees, and the Make a Payment button. Again, these are settings on a per-event basis and will not change your default settings under Website Tools, Client Portal Settings. We often suggest that you set up a testing event within your account, pick a date way into the future so as not to disrupt your financials in any way. Then you can run all your tests for emails, documents, booking helpers, and even the client portal options to make sure you have everything working how you'd like them. I hope you found this video helpful to understand more how your client portal works and how you can view each client's portal through their event. If you are seeing this video and have not yet signed up for our 30-day free trial, please do so at djeventplanner.com.